Hello, and welcome to FSU TV News. My name is Mike Rivera. And I'm Sarah Lemire. Today we will talk about the events that took place on Southern's campus. You will also see how students spent their Valentine's Day weekend, as well as their thoughts on spring break being canceled. Speaking of what students were doing for Valentine's Day, yesterday, the Global Brigades here at SSU hosted a virtual Palentine's Day event at 7 p.m. Students were allowed to bring their best friends with them and chat with others while playing games on Kahoot. Find the Global Brigades on allconnect.southerntv.edu to hear about future events. On February 17th, Southern's Violence Prevention Victim Advocacy and Support Center hosted Woke Women Wednesday on Instagram. Students were invited to celebrate the contributions that black women have made in the fight against sexual violence. Every week, a trivia challenge is held to identify the women and their contributions. The winners will receive a $20 Amazon gift card. The biology club had their first meeting of the semester th yesterday on Microsoft Teams. If students are interested in joining, they can contact the president of the club, Melissa Beecher, or visit their Instagram page at SASU Biology Club. The Counseling Services Office has continued their program from last semester called Let's Talk, which gives students a safe space to drop in and receive professional counsel without an appointment. They have free drop-in periods on Monday through Friday each week, and their virtual location can be found on owlconnect.southernct.edu. The Italian Club is hosting a virtual discussion with award-winning filmmaker and activist Fred Kawarnu on Monday, February 22nd. Kawarnu is an Italian Ghanaian who is known for his documentary Inside Buffalo, which featured at the Berlin Film Festival. To attend the program, visit the page on Instagram to register. During the spring semester, many students get excited for the spring break, but this year students will not have a spring break due to COVID. Let's hear how students feel. With many changes caused by COVID, students talk about their feelings on spring break getting canceled this semester. Um, at first I was pretty disappointed about it because um, it's that time I was used to like, refresh and take a break from school, but at the same time, I kind of get where the school is coming from, just so you know, people can travel as much. I do like the break over the week, but it really doesn't matter to me because I did have the break during winter break, so it was kind of a balance that they just took away the week and they didn't give it to us for winter break. Then it would be different, but I just want to get through this semester, so. Personally for me, I'm a mix of, I understand why they're doing it and I respect it, but at the same time, I'm missing out on things I already planned on. So, although I am upset about it, I totally respect the decision for it. It's definitely a bummer because I look forward to the week off every year to spend time with my friends and just get a break from classes. It sucks, but it's like reasonable because of Corona. People don't want to have people go out when they're like stay early and travel, so it's ridiculous. I'm Kiara Smith reporting from New Haven. In honor of Black History Month, SDSU's Counseling Services hosted Black Mental Health Matters on February 17th. Students were able to join the open dialogue on the stigmas in seeking out services for mental health in Black communities, as well as the barriers preventing Black people from seeking mental health services. That's all for now. Thank you for watching this edition of SDSU TV News. My name is Sarah Lemire. And I'm Mike Rivera. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and on YouTube at SDSU TV. Thank you for watching.